the last video I talk about the how we can set up and new changes happen to R to kind of creating custom visual in R. In this video, I'm going to first talk about the what we have here. So you remember that actually we install, uh, we get the sample and then we run it in command prompt and we get a folder like this. But what we have in this folder? So uh, there are different things. So the uh, important things that we have is a script.r so I'm going to open it with my R studio so make sure you have R studio so this is a file that actually the visual that you see there is actually here uh, as you see there are two important packages that need to be installed to work with this visual one of them is ggplot2 and another Plotly. So you need to install them. So as you see here, you need to use the command install.packages to install both of them. And after that, you need to check uh, that you already installed. So because I'm already installed, I'm not going to install it. So you just click here and run it to install it. And after you install, to make sure they are installed, just run the command library ggplot. So you will get a message like this that's actually not a message actually you will see it's become blue that shows this library already installed in your computer so these are the two things that you need to do after that we actually you have so this is a code behind the what you see before so if you remember from the previous one uh, we kind of coming here we said we want to get import picture so uh, sorry import the uh, actually visual so we get it if you remember from here so our visual and then we come here and there is a visual here that actually we use it so if you remember this visual doesn't uh, interact with the data set so I, I able to bring any value to it doesn't matter what is this so just do it again and it shows us a specific chart here that not interact with the data that we have there. So what is that actually? So now let's look at the code. So this visual use these two packages. So for any reason, if you couldn't see this visual with drag and draw any random column, that means that you may not properly install the packages so check the packages to be installed and also make sure you have access to R in your Power BI and also make sure that you already actually have the same location as your Power BI desktop you have access to that so that's a really important thing the next actually uh, chart the next column and uh, the next row is about the actual code the code that actually draw the chart so as you see here there is a function in ggplot2 named ggplot that is responsible to draw the chart. So when I run it actually, uh, you will see that a, a kind of is a store a picture into the g value. So what is happened here is a chart that has been going to a store in g value and uh, it used the free data set named iris so this is a data set that embedded here and it's going to show that one and later on the last sentence is about the creating visual using plotly so this is a sample format that you can see here it's not interact with uh, actually with the data that we have here it's totally different but we can change it we can change it all of the sentence to be there so uh, we can change it to different things uh, here oh, uh, actually I have a code that actually can help you to change that one so this is a code that I have I'm going to replace this one so what this code do so this is a very simple code that actually draw the chart for us so this is a chart that we are going to create there so as you see here we have a value for city for a speed in highway and showing a legend based on the color number of the sealant of the car so here what i did actually i said that i want to use this function ggplot 
I use the data set values. You see here also, this is values that is here. So it's actually it's get the data from there. But here I'm hard coded for now. I said that values should have a city, a highway, and Sealand. You will see that later that we able to make it parameterized that you do not need to specify the specific column and uh, specific data set. You can see that how you can change it. But for now, I just want to say that you can do it. For the first example, we are just going to use that one. So for I'm just copy this one. I also put the code that you need in the caption of the video so you can easily use that one. So I'm just packing to the uh, one that I have. I just make it comment and I put my code here. Make sure to save it. And uh, after that, you can actually use it. So for this scenario, uh, to be see that how the changes happen, just search MPG. So that actually is get the value there. And this is our data set in general. So for first example, we are not going to show us here. We just pass that one to see that how it works. So this is the first example we can do. So let's go and run the command prompt. So I'm going to my command prompt here. I'm going to uh, the one that I have. Just need to check the location again. So I'm going to our visual and then the other one was CD. Let me check the name. So I'm going to this one. And also I'm close it. This one. Save it and close it. And I'm back to the here. And now just you need to set P B I V. So it's going to actually create the package for you. Okay, so I get that this one, so it seems it's correct. Now I'm going to remove this one and uh, just remove this custom visual from here. And I'm going to add the new one from the R visual. So it should be change now. So create and I add this. Okay. So you see that we change the visual. So not a visual change, we just simple change. It still is not related to here. It still, it doesn't get the data from here, but we can actually do that one. We can change it. So now I'm actually I'm back to the code that I have. Again, back here to the R here and open with the R Studio. And I'm going to set, yep, so I don't want to get the data from here. I just want to get the data from there. But the, in the Power BI, I need to have the same exactly work, to work it. I'm saying that. In the next video, I will show you how to make it more parameters. But this is just for practice. So here, I'm going to just grab these two. So to do that, I need to bring the, another data set here. So I'm going to the CSV on the uh, data set here. There is the MPGs data set. I'm going to bring the data here and also take a bit time and also remove the visual from my Power BI. So uh, just here, this is the one you need to save. And again, back here and run it. So this time is actually uh, we do different process. So we don't getting the data set inside query. We are going just to get a data set from the uh, panel here, but it's actually they are predefined one. So it should be exactly the same sequence. So city, I will get an error. I need to provide the highway and also the Oh, a first city highway and the other one. So I get picture like this, but because of it should be summarized. So just check that is not summarized. So this is hard coded. 
uh, it's not maybe the best practice uh, because you may use the difference. So now is actually by changing a bit code, actually by the values data set is the interaction between my Power BI and what I have in the R study. So still you see that I can do that. Now I'm going to actually to change it a bit more. I'm going to change to use the same value, but don't get the data like this. I want to pass any data set here and see the result. So see that how we can do that. So these are the things. So uh, before I'm going in the next videos, I'm going to show you to do that one. So this is a simple change that you can do and see the interaction. Another simple thing that you can do is to change the name of the visual. So you see the same the name of the visual is still is the one that we download. So how we can change it, the name of the visual? So you see that we have different uh, actually different parts here that help us to do that. So if you we want to change the name of the visual, we need to go again back to the PBI with JSON and then uh, open it with a word pad and here you will see the name so i can change it to uh, i call it scatter chart and for the name value i put that one for the display name also i will put uh, scatter chart and also for the id of the visual i change it the first part to this one so I just save it and close it. And if I'm back here, I'm easily able to kind of create the visual here. So now I'm going to again remove the visual. And this time I'm going to import it. So just make sure it's correct. Now you see that is actually, we have a different one with the ID here. So it's scatter chart, so now it's different one. So I'm easily able to import it and you can see that. So it's a scatter chart. I have a typo also there. So it's obvious that it's changed. Also, if you want to change the icon, so you can change the icon of the visual very easy. If you look at the assets, you will see that you have an icon here. So you can bring your own icon here to actually work with that. So uh, I can bring another icon here, just make sure it has the uh, kind of uh, specific dimension. Uh, there is a, uh, I will put the uh, size of that, uh, the dimension at the video, at the bottom of the, in the description, so you can find that what icon you need to have. So for example, now I'm going to add a new one. So I already have this one, I'm going to cut it here and bring it for my visual so that was our visual and I put it here so I put it in the folder the name is I can change it to the scatter chart and I'm going to put the code back to the visual here again back to the PBI with JSON open it with wordpad and here there is a place that actually is asked you about the icon so you see you see is asked about the icon i put the name of the icon here and again save it so here is actually you can change the name of the people the name of the charts then provide some in information about the versioning and also you specify the kind of uh what's the uh icon and the other so just make sure to save it and close it and if you run it this time it should actually give you different visuals so i'm going again to remove that one and here i'm going to bring it from here the same one and just put it here so now you see the charge uh, the image has been changed and everything so this is a really simple setup of that so now the rest is about the uh, make it more flexible so you see that here for example I need to specify exactly the same attribute otherwise I get error and there are some things that actually we need to change about that the, the order of these things also be able to change it and we are going to see that 
how we can have more column rather than just the values here in next videos and also how we can have more kind of uh, attribute here so this is just a single setup I uh, hope you see that how it actually work uh, but we are going to make it a bit more complex to have our own values uh, proper message uh, providing disabling or enabling these things uh, additional format and the other hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I will soon publish the rest thank you